To iron a pair of pants, what you're first going to do is you're going to find the end seam line. So on the insides of the legs, you can notice these two lines that go all the way up. You're going to put those together on each leg, all right, so that they're matching. So you've got seam to seam, seam to seam, and pull them up like this, straighten them out so that they're less wrinkly. And then the easiest way I found to do them is to do both legs at once, kind of. I also have a yellow lab, so I always have lots of dog hair, so I'm never too far from a lint brush. So just have a lint brush, give them a little slide to the lint brush, get the wrinkles out as much as you can, give them a little mist with the scree, and then just wrinkle them, <laughs> unwrinkle them, iron them so you get a nice crease in the middle of the leg. Alright, do the same thing on this leg. Alright, and now you're going to do the inside of the opposite leg. So you lift it up so that you maintain the same crease. Do the same thing here. Okay, and then we're going to put them back together and fold them over and do the same thing on the other side. Get rid of your dog hair. Bring it all the way up. Do both legs. And then do the inside of the opposite leg. Just like that. Get rid of the dog hair. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, then fold them again. Fold them and put them on a hanger if you're not going to use them right away. Uh, if you're going to put them on a hanger, just fold them like that. Take your hanger, and slide it in there, fold them until you're ready to go. Boom, pants are done. There's two styles of aprons that we work with at Johnson and Wales. We have the long bistro style apron. What you're going to do with that is take the strings, fold it right in half so that the sides match. Fold it so that you have a crease line. Lay it out. You're going to mist it with a little mister of water. And I've just taken an old bottle, washed it out thoroughly, put water in it, and I use it as my squirter. With a nice hot iron that's clean, I'm going to just crease, iron along my crease line so it's nice and flat. And get all the wrinkles out. The thing about ironing is, you just got to take your time. Steam is good. Steam is your friend. And I'm going to do both sides. And I really work that crease line so that you get a nice distinguished crease. You don't need to worry so much about the band on the bistro apron at the top because <clears throat> you're going to fold that over. So you got that nice and flat. And you're just going to flip it over end to end and do the same thing on the other side. All right, work that crease line. Do the same thing on the other side. And then once we have that all pressed, then we're going to fold it up because you're probably not going to carry it floating in the air to class or to work. You need to get it there so that it stays nice and wrinkle free. So you're going to fold it edge to edge, lay it out so you keep your crease line, put your hand in the middle and fold it over. Okay. Then you're going to take your strings, and coil those up like so. And then fold it over again. Now you have your nice bistro apron ready to go. Then there's the bib apron. So you're going to take your bib apron, do the same thing. Follow to a central line. Right? Fold it in half so you have your center line. Nice and distinguished. Give it a little squirt. Iron up that middle line. You don't want to leave 
leave the iron in one place too long. <clears throat> that never works out well. Alright, so get it nice, wrinkle free. Flip it over, end to end. Now the benefits of having a nicely ironed apron is it makes the aprons that aren't so clean not look so dirty. <clears throat> Alright, so if you get that nice wrinkle free, looking nice and clean, or not. Okay, so we got a nice wrinkle free. Fold it over, end to end. Another thing I like to do is I'll take and write my name right on the seam, just because right here. Uh, people just pick up aprons, not necessarily maliciously, just on accident, but if your name's there, you can say, hey, uh, that's mine. All right, so do the same thing like we did with the Beaster apron. Fold it over. Fold it to the top. So fold it up this way. Just want to make sure you don't get any wrinkles on the inside. Take the strings, fold them in this way. Take the chin strap, neck strap, fold that over. Fold that there, and now you're ready to go. That's how we iron aprons.